Hey guys, Jarek and Mookie here. Gonna be doing some more Smash for the 3DS. I have two games where I'm playing as Captain Falcu. Captain Falcu? <laughs> I'm totally calling him Captain Fuck You oh. from now on. Whoa, watch your mouth. <laughs> and of course, yeah, I'm two playing games. Like... Two games with Captain Fuck You. Yeah. Uh, I swear that's that's the play style you need to adopt when you're playing as Captain Falcon. Just the, you, you have to be such an you. aggressive character. It, it's he's so fun to play as. Everyone loves Falcon. Uh, so I have two games for you. I think I, I'm pretty sure the second game was on a different stage. Actually, I'm not sure if I remember or not. Um, you were playing as Link on both of them. Of course, for your speedy Link for the win. Yeah, like I said, I think at a video or so before that I'm trying to make Captain Falcon one of my mains. Um, it's... You really do have to kind of be in a different mindset from Marth, because Marth is a... He's, I don't want to say a defensive-minded character, because you can really play Marth defensively or offensively, depending on what you're doing. He's definitely more combo-oriented, though, and so is Captain Falcon, but with Marth, you got to worry about, like, spacing and kind of walling... Kind of like a wall of forward errors away, so you got to adopt a different mentality when you're playing as Captain Falcon that... Don't stop moving. Constantly be running everywhere and be fast. That's just what you need to do. And Falcon's a little bit different in this one. Um, a lot of his aerial moves can be punished. Like, his knee has a lot of landing lag. Same thing with his down air. I totally lost, tra lost track of where the stage was. <laughs> that happened. The background is so disorienting. It was the fact that I couldn't see the ground anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Captain Falcon is a little bit different, but... He's still, he's still the same fast Captain Falcon that we know that's really fun. You just gotta, without L cancelling, be aware of what aerial move you're doing. Knee and Stomp have a lot of landing lag. Back air has very little. Use that as much as you want to. Um, and his up air is also very good. Same same situation. His neutral air is... I don't feel like it's really as good of an approach as it used to be. So, it could be better. See, that's what I mean. That knee, you can capitalize on it a lot. I specifically like doing a uh, drop-off ledge and knee onto the ledge, which will catch people off guard every once in a while, but that's a tactic that any Falcon player is going to pick up instantly, whether you tell them or not. So it's to be expected that people are going to know what you're going to do there. So, again, this game is all about adjusting to what your enemy is going to be doing. You almost have to play the player more than you have to play their character. And I'm sure that's something that you've noticed and you've started to adopt to it. You know, I feel like uh, over the past couple of nights, I've actually started to understand the game a bit better. Like, I've become less of a button masher and more of kind of a kind of a just do a tilt here or just do a, a smash if the situation calls for it. I'm starting to get a little bit smarter, I'd like to think, but I'm, See, what, I'm still not I'm there seeing, yet. What I'm seeing is you're starting to adjust more to Link's facing playstyle because it's like you don't rush in with Link. That's just something you're not going to want to do. Mm -hmm. um, with some characters you do want to rush in. Granted, I mean you got to be observant as to when you're rushing in, but you know. And I totally what I just did there. you. <laughs> I just spooked you to death, basically. I think I uh, I think I was trying to do like a a down B or something, and I wound up uh, just dropping off the stage. I don't know what I was thinking, but. Whatever. Um, but yeah, it's that's something that professional Smash Brothers players do that they just make it look too easy. Yeah. You know, and this really is true for about any game you're playing, but specifically Smash is misleading because they make it look like they don't even need to do anything. They make it look like they're hitting buttons as fast as possible when in all reality it's all calculated. Yeah. And aerial battle. Yes. I have no idea how I made it back, but I made it back. It was like my first aerial battle ever. Achievement unlocked. It, it didn't work well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, good players make it look like they're doing things as fast as possible. Like they're just they're hitting buttons in the fastest way and doing it first. That's not necessarily true. Because timing is everything with all the moves. And you got to be fast, but also precise with them. And also Absolutely. Falcon's Jab. I need to use it a lot more because it can stop moves like that. Jabbing in general is something that I'm not sure why, but in every Smash game, I've never really gotten into a habit of doing. Probably because I started as a Marth and Roy main. Mm -hmm. And Marth's Jab is situational, but it's very, very good at getting people off of you. It's, it's pretty quick. 
Um, you only want to do once or twice. In general, though, you're not really going to use it too much other than a very few select edge guarding situations. So that's kind of why I didn't really use it. Not sure what I was doing at that Falcon Punch. I probably was just hoping you'd run into it. Which, I mean, to be, to be fair, started, it works. I've started getting used to Link's, uh, Link's tilts a bit more. Like, tilting with the uh, the 3DS analog stick has always felt a little funky, but I've started to get used to it. You really gotta kinda just give the stick a little bit of loving and not go all the way to the left or the right. <laughs> give the stick a little bit of loving and yeah. not go all the way to the left or right. Mookie Take that out of context. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's your death by weenus. Yes. <laughs> I accept so this another death. game... <laughs> There's another game after this. I'm pretty sure the second game was faster and a little bit better than that one. Um, mm -hmm. I actually was contemplating not uploading that game, uh, but that aerial battle was something I was like, I gotta upload it, just because that was really amusing. How I intentionally ran across the entire stage just to hit you and almost kill myself. <laughs> hey, it worked! Good times. <laughs> yeah, it did. Also, Road I have been getting... Destination. It's like every stage is Final Destination, though, so I can't even say that. Yeah. And honestly, I've never really cared too much for FD. Because, um, like I said, I've always been a Marth main. So, FD, FD is good with Marth, don't get me wrong, but platforms really, really help Marth. A lot. You can get so many tilts and so many smashes through platforms. And um, with the exception of, like, uh, whatever the, I forget what the name of the Kirby stage is. I'm pretty sure Green Green's the one with the blowing tree. Yeah. Um... You can get up tilts through those platforms, but they're for everything else too far away. So, but yeah, in general, platforms help a lot. Now, I've noticed the four glory thing, which I mean, I've ranted about this plenty of times before. I think it's stupid that four glory. Oh, look at that knee! Uh, so beautiful, the knee of justice. Uh, knee but I've noticed that knee, was, that knee was trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know how Captain Falcon brings out the trash. Hmm. <laughs> But, um, what was I saying? I forgot entirely. You're saying something about, uh, the, the tree, the platforms on green greens. Right, no, I've ranted about this a lot, the four glory thing. I think it's stupid that every stage is FD. Because it's yeah. like, professional players don't play on just FD. The most neutral stage is not FD, it's Battlefield. That's what people play on. And if you look at all the stages that we play in Melee... You know, Green Greens, FD is one of them, but the other ones are, like I said, Green Greens, Yoshi's Island. Uh, pretty much every other stage has platforms. And it not having platforms significantly helps some characters and significantly hurts others. And it changes your playstyle drastically. Um, so yeah, it, it's kind of annoying that they would get rid of it. Like all of the, uh, the Omega stages, is what they're called? They all feel yeah, like FD with a skin. Yeah, they're pretty much all the same, but with different blast zones. Hmm. Uh, really, that's the only difference is that they're this, they're just size differences. That's it. So I don't, I really can't understand the logic behind doing it. It's it's very very annoying, and I feel like it's really starting to make bad players. Um, I feel like people are not knowing how to play on stages with platforms now. You know, I used to be partial to Final Destination. Uh, when I first started, but now that I've played Battlefield as much as I have, I, I'm i starting to lean toward that a little bit more because I'm starting to learn like how to maneuver around the platforms and how to pass through them and not be like a total noob when I, uh, when I try to land on them and can't go through. But platforms also help combos a lot because people get stuck on platforms, they get stuck above you, you can get tilts through the platforms, stuff like that. So, oh, knee... Uh, oh. <laughs> I love that knee. Almost a JV4 stock. Yeah, it's 7%, so not quite. Uh, but yeah, I really do think 4 Glory is starting to make bad players, because they don't know what to do with platforms. You have to change your playstyle entirely, and that's not going to work in tournaments. So, anyway, there's been some more, uh, some more Smash. Thanks for listening to me rant, <laughs> and I'll see you guys later.